I apologize. We never had the need for a second bedroom around here. This is usually where I store my woodworking tools and the pottery I make. Oh. <coughs> What's the problem? Lemon, they're just lumpy flowers. Now, I don't know who usually sleeps on which side, so I put a strawberry calcium chew on both night tables for you, Liz. Uh, oh, we're co-workers, we're not, no, Ms. Edwards. No, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed that... That's quite all right. A lot of people are making wild assumptions today. Our relationship is purely platonic if Plato had an elderly shut-in aunt. Uh-huh. You know, Plato did have a gay relationship with Socrates. I mean, the only way you're like Socrates is you have the body hair of a Greek man. Are you sure you aren't married? Because this seems pretty married. Uh, Siri, find me the nearest hotel. Finding hookers, is that right? Oh, you don't want to go out. The Vietnam vets are starting to retire, and they get antsy at night around all these palm trees. No, that's all right. We can sleep together, because there's nothing weird about two friends sharing a bed. Right, Jack? Of course not. Your pajamas have a turtleneck. They're from the L.L. Bean Maritime Professional Collection. So, what way do you want to totally normally sleep together? Face to face or butt to butt? Be careful, old mattress. <clears throat> it goes without saying, Lemon, that nothing will happen in this bed tonight. And I am referring, of course, to your Digestive failings. I'd laugh, but I'm trying not to do the thing that you just referred to. <clears throat> Why didn't anything ever happen between us? Good God, Lemon. If you're trying to conjure my mother's ghost, you could just shake a jar of coins while praising Jimmy Carter. No, I'm not saying I wanted something to happen, but why didn't something happen? We spent a lot of time together. We've been drunk together and day drunk together and on the rebound at the same time. And also, you're kind of a slut. I did sleep with Jenna a lot during season three. If I were a different person, would you have hit on me? I understand what you're getting at, Lemon. There was a particularly youth-oriented priest in my childhood parish who went after everybody but me. Even fat Ralph, and he ate his boogers. I felt so unpretty. No, this isn't about appearance, Jack. Did nothing ever happen between us because I'm not fun? Good God, Lemon. Obviously, our relationship, however you define it, mentor, mentee, sister, ploy, work, oracle, is more interesting than some dating scenario. And obviously, to ruin what we have with a tawdry yet expert sexual encounter would have been a mistake. Obviously, but is it the kind of mistake that I should have made? Tracy told me I haven't lived. You're allowing Tracy to criticize your life choices? Tracy Jordan. Now what? But he's right. I haven't done anything impulsive, ever. I don't have any tattoos or broken bones. I've never been high, except for that choir trip to Montreal where I accidentally ate a pound of marijuana. Also, maybe I was never attracted to you because you're the kind of person who finds a way to talk about herself while lying in my dead mother's bed. Wow. Okay, well, for the record, it's mutual. I wasn't exactly chomping at the bit to be with a middle-aged man with crippling mommy issues. First of all, it's champing at the bit, horses champ. And second of all, I'm not going to fight in bed with a woman I'm not even having sex with. Why? Is it weird? Of course it's weird. Lincoln was super gay. Thank you. I don't even want to think about my mother. And I know those pots aren't flowers. <laughs>